understand. Knowing your blood group might one day save your life or the lives of others, including those of your future children. In this video, I will explain blood groups and the important points we all need to know about them. Scientists have classified our blood into groups according to the presence of certain proteins on the surface of the blood cells, the red blood cells to be exact. One group of people who have the same certain protein, say protein A, scientists have named them group A. Another group of people who have another certain protein, say protein B, they named them group B. Another group of people who have both of the two previous proteins, A and B, they name them group AB. Another group of people who have neither of the two previous proteins, they name them group O, or actually zero. The importance of blood groups is vital during operations and blood transfusion. We must know your group to know from whom you can receive blood or to whom you can donate blood. Our body reacts against foreign proteins. So if you're group A, group B will be foreign for you. And the same if you're group B, group A will be foreign to you. If you're from group A and received blood from group B, your body will recognize it as foreign bodies and will react against the protein B. So A cannot receive from B, but if A donates blood to AB, the body of AB will recognize A as a friend, not a foreign body, and will not react against it. So now we have understood that A can donate blood to AB without considerable problems, and the same if B donates blood to AB. The body of AB will recognize both A and B as familiar proteins. So blood group A can donate blood to AB, and to itself, of course. Group B can donate blood to AB, and to itself, of course. Group AB can donate blood to itself only. Group O, or zero, means that there are no proteins on the surface that belong to that classification. So, O will not be recognized as a foreign body by any other type. That's why group O can donate blood to group O, group A can receive blood from O as well, the body will not recognize anything wrong. O can donate blood to B and also to AB as well. Group AB can receive blood from all blood types and O can donate blood to all blood types or groups. So, O is called a universal donor and AB is called a universal recipient. But hold it right there. Another scientist came along and said, hey, I found out from my researchers on rhesus monkeys that there is a certain protein, and I call it the Rh factor, that may be present in all groups or may be absent. Now we know that group A individuals who have rhesus factor are called A positive. So the group A individuals who have not got the Rh factor are called A negative. The same for blood group B, AB and O. They might be rhesus positive or negative. During blood transfusion, rhesus positive can receive blood from rhesus negative, which has no proteins on the surface, and from rhesus positive as well, of course, because the body will recognize it as a friend and won't do anything against it. So, in fact, AB positive is the general or universal recipient, which can receive blood from all blood groups, and O negative is the general donor that can donate blood to all the other groups.
In addition to the importance of blood groups during operations and blood transfusion, they are also important to know around the time of pregnancy and childbirth. One common example is when the parents are different in the rhesus factor, especially when the mother is negative and the father is positive. Rhesus factor may be inherited by the baby from his father's side, so the mother would recognize the blood of her baby as foreign body and would react against it. The first pregnancy may pass safely, but during delivery some of the fetal blood may enter the maternal circulation and the body of the mother will recognize the rhesus factor, the positive rhesus factor, as foreign body and will form antibodies against it. If the second baby is rhesus positive, like the first baby, the previously formed antibodies will react against the foreign protein, killing the fetus and causing abortion. To save the baby, the mother is given a drug that can prevent rhesus-negative mother's antibodies from being able to react against rhesus-positive fetal blood. Rhesus-negative women are given the drug around the 28th week of pregnancy. So it's very important before marriage to do blood group testing, and if the mother is rhesus-negative and the father is rhesus-positive, the mother must be given a drug by the end of the first pregnancy or during the second pregnancy. That was a summary of blood groups, including the most important points we should know about this topic. I wish you the best of health. This video contains general information about medical conditions. The content might not be suitable for everyone and should not be treated as such. Always consult your doctor before using medications. The medical information is provided without any warranties or legal obligations to those who might apply them.